Boom, we're live, we're live. And, um, oh, good evening, welcome to another, uh, another edition of Life is People. And, um, well, I'd ask, I want to just want to straight jump straight into it because we were talking before going live about many things and <laughs> many various things. But I, I, I want to sort of jump straight into it because I, I, I think where, where I want to start with this is, um, I've got, I've, I've just got to say, I'm, I'm absolutely blown away by your, um, your app. I think it's just, I think it's groundbreaking, and I recommend to anybody that's listening to it, this video now or, or in, in the future, go and check out the YouTube Devasey page, and you'll and you'll find it, and it's Devasey page, and it's it's just um, you know your app is not only is it essential. I, I, what I really impressive about your app, and this comes from a from a creative point of view and an artistic point of view, I love the way you. have You've kept it simple, and the design is fantastic. There's no complications, and it's something that drives us when we're trying to build N99. But I, I have to sort of say, in a world where you're confronted by so many complicated things and things that are so, I look at them and think, oh, can they just spend a little bit of effort in the artistic, creative element? You've, you've hit, you've hit the nail right on the head. So that's, that's my, from a starting point. I have to sort I of say that. <clears throat> no, I really appreciate that compliment. It, it feels good to hear that, you know. Um, it really just, it, it took a life of its own. It started out with the, uh, of course we started out with the Android platform. Um, it started as simply as being something that notified you whenever your camera or your microphone was alerted. And, uh, it started growing into other features as, as far as like the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and, uh, one day I just had an epiphany <clears throat> and I was taking a shower, believe it or not. And, and I had a, um, a vision of what would give people, um, the feeling of being safe and, and a lock came to my mind. So the traditional master lock is what I thought of. And to put each little device around and, sort of a circle, you know, so you could actually select each individual device and select accordingly, you know, settings, locking, features, uh, so on and so on. And then <clears throat> it kind of morphed into something more as far as being able to pinpoint which application was actually accessing your camera or your microphone without you knowing. And um, that was something that we were able to achieve just totally out of the box thinking, going around the, the Android sandboxing that's in place in the, in the operating system and being able to, uh, to inform the, the, the user as to if it's Messenger, uh, Viber, or what app is actually trying to access your mic or your camera. And then um, um, I'm sorry, I'm just going to ramble on. No, no, carry on. I mean, I I, I was just going to say, I mean, what, what what fascinates me about this, and just just speaking from a, just from a general layman's point of view, I, I think as many as many people hear about, and I think this is a conversation I was having with John from you know from uh, Black Cert, you know, it's amazing how many people they maybe hear it in the news and they hear about you know like what goes on with you know. The WikiLeaks and stuff like that, but they just don't realise. I mean, I, I was shocked, and I'm not, not saying I was shocked, but it's amazing how many people I speak to are, are amazed that that their phone can even be switched on when it's not in use. You know, they they, they just sort of think, well, I know where my phone's being switched on because the light comes on. I mean, I I, I too when I first became aware of it, and I, I I you know I speak from a very personal level here. I mean, when I started speaking to a few coders, and then they started had to tape over their cameras on their on their laptops. I was like, why would you do? Why would you do that? I was like, because you know, and then they started explain to me, and it, I, I that's what I'm trying to say. I think for most people who are maybe is not as on the edge and where we are in the world, we sort of, you know, I, I speak from a very, very layman's perspective, but someone like yourself, you forget the people out there in the general world have no idea that their phones are being switched on, used, and that's what I think was a, a huge step forward in what you were doing, was because it was not only, I've seen other apps where they will maybe let you know after the event, but I, what I loved about, particularly about your device, was it, it was an immediate 
bang, someone's using your phone right now, and it's not. That's what I thought was a real, really kind of like, were you taking a leap ahead about uh, versus other sort of apps similar to yours that I've seen? Well, <clears throat> we actually um. Oh wow! It seems I had to connect to a charger. Is there? Uh, <laughs> I didn't bring my charger with me. I didn't come supplied. Imagine that. Let's spin you around real quick, and you can get a view of things. Let me just grab a USB cord and get things in the works here. But anyways, uh, it actually morphed into something more than that. Um, it started going into the Stingray technology, which we had uh, implemented because of the FBI and the NSA actually being able to, you know, use the tricking of any cell phone towers or your phone connecting to a cell phone tower. It tricks your phone into thinking it's an actual cell phone tower and pulling all that data from it. So we had to think of something to implement with Invasive to help the user and protect against that. And that was, uh, you know, shutting down, you know, certain transmitters and receivers that are necessary to, um, you know, permit that type of data transfer what, and and stand and be able to give the user the option to still make you know usual phone calls or text messages over their Wi-Fi, which they can still do. So, you know, not taking away any features, but you know, protecting or giving another layer of protection for the user was uh, was necessary there. Well, that sort of taps into the point I was I was trying to make really because I, I'm I'm always. I'm personally always surprised that people get surprised by this information because I think I think it's just a habit. Uh, I'm, I'm never harsh on anybody, and I never, you know, and I never get loud because I think we're all the same. I mean, I I, I just speak from personal experience. I'm, and the amount of times that I've signed up to things and I, you just flick through the the whole contract and you go, yeah, I agree, and you don't realise what you're signing away, what you're giving away, and what kind of you know. That's the point because I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm fascinated to know. You know, I mean, I'm, I know the government has their own rules, but generally on a on a company level, I mean, the companies like you mentioned, like you know, not particularly any companies, but say, just take one for instance, like Facebook and stuff like that. If if they're watching you on your camera, is that something you've had to sign up to? I'd imagine yes, because if not, I mean, now what sort of like the dual side of that question would be: Are there actual companies out there that are? Even though you don't agree with it, are still just tracking you. You know, I mean, I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. I, mean, I know the governments are doing it, but I was just, other than you know, the governments and states, are, are other companies doing this surreptitiously in the sense of not letting you sign up for that agreement and still trying to use it? That you're aware there, of. Yeah, I'm sure there's so much more going on that we don't even, we're not even aware of. You know, um, but we try to do the best that we can, and. That's what we offer with Devasive is a layer of protection. Uh, the first time that anybody's able to actually monitor your internal devices and notify the user if, if uh, there's a third-party application trying to access that and spy on you. You know, antivirus software and uh, malware software and anti-spyware and all, you know, it's great. It offers a certain layer of protection, but it only – is able to protect against their own definitions. That's, you know, um, a virus that's already come in contact with a person that's logged into a database somewhere that can cross-reference that and say, okay, that's a malicious file inside that software that you're trying to download. So you can't, you know, it's been flagged as a virus. But what about the ones that are being created on a daily basis that aren't, you know, logged into a database somewhere that are getting past, you know, all the antivirus software and malware. So that's why we came out with Devasive to actually monitor the, the hardware that's used to spy on you, such as your camera, microphone, Wi-Fi, or your Bluetooth, and give a more thorough uh, blanket of security for your privacy. So uh, what, what, what was the first kind of inklings of you know where did this you know the inklings of hold this of you know this awareness of actually what was going on and made you sort of again sort of think well, do you know what I'm actually going to rather than just being a bit kind of annoyed by what they're doing actually going to get 
get up and actually try to do something to sort of, you know, combat that and try to give people a solution to get around that, that you know, that what, you, what you just described. I mean, when, when did you first, talk, I'm, I'm really fascinated with this, but when did you first become aware of this? I mean, was it something you've always you've known or was there a, was there a particular event that kind of oh, made it you... was uh, definitely the Snowden interviews, you know. I mean, it definitely made most of the, the public aware of what was going on with, with big government and big corporations, um, private contractors out there snooping on the general public uh you know it's it, it just we had to do something to to fight back and 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 i think that you would consider you know myself lou who is uh, my my partner who, who actually programmed and did all the coding for devasive um you, you know john from uh from black sir you know and aisha from uh you know um Demon Soul, you would consider, you would consider, even John McAfee, you would consider us the patriotic cyber party. You know, we're the true patriots because we fight back. You know, we give, we give the people what they want, and that's privacy. I mean, we give them their essential rights back to have uh, the freedom for privacy and just protect. You know, what's theirs. Um, you know, John said it best on, on your last interview. Uh, your 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 online data. You know your your online personality it has to be protected. You know. Well, yeah, exactly. And do you know what I think? Any any more proof of uh, how corrupt and you know how corrupt to the very core of the current system and it, and this could be I don't care where you listen to in the world you listen to any country in the world you can just look at the the people above you and it'll be as corrupt as it is where I sit and where you sit my friend but any proof of it this is the, I think you just tapped it you know you hit the nail right on the head there is 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 the very point it's left to people like myself to people like you, you even to people like, like John McAfee you know what I mean why should it be left to us? We're a bunch of ragtagian people, you know what I mean? And the point, I'm, the point I'm trying to make, I'm not trying to downgrade what we're doing, but the point I'm making, but the point I'm making is, you know, you're not seeing these conversations on NBC. You, you know, you're not seeing people in in, in suits standing no, up for this. Yeah, no, yeah, mainstream media. That's all being controlled. Mm. You know, I mean, that's all being controlled by the higher ups. You know, they want to release what what information to the masses that they want the masses to know. Uh, that's why nobody's heard of Devasive. You know, that's why we're being kept out of the mainstream media. You haven't heard of this software, being, you know, actually being able to protect people's privacy on CBS or NBC. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to question, you know, why is there something, you know, that, that's able to help people being held back while, you know, um, Kim Kardashian's buttocks is being... <laughs> I mean, I'm not, you know, saying I hate buttocks or anything. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a avid fan of buttocks, but uh, <laughs> you know, I don't want to hear about it every day. You know, mm -hmm. uh, it, it quite frankly makes me sick. It's not important to my life. So, you know, just hopefully we can get this out to the masses, to people who need it, and uh, it becomes a, a household item. You know. Well, I, I, I was kind of, you know, as you know, as we kind of skipped over this briefly in the last conversation I was having with John, but, you know, and I think he, he was, you know, alluding to this very fact. I, I do think we're at the momentous time in history, and I think you, you don't have to look very far around you to see, like I say, a, a system that's in decay and it's in its last legs. And, and I mean, I, I think it's hilarious now when people, you know, actually get wound up by TV, because I'm like, are you really still watching TV in 2015? Is there, I mean, I'm always surprised that actually people still sitting down and, and can actually I, I do not know I, 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 I don't know where I am but I, I give you a perfect example just just recently I, I don't I don't really watch any TV at all and I, I, I sat down the other day because I was watching a, a football match and I was just, just like whoa how many adverts do you get in a space of, of a sh you know an hour you're just bombarded from every angle and, it, and it's amazing when you step away from the from from TV and you live your life normally and then you step back into it you realise like whoa man it's, it's, you know and then it, then you realise you start to realise that how it's not surprising they can get away with so much because they've got people are really are the old I mean you were mentioning the films before we went on before we went live people are it is like they live they're just being bombarded with consume obey and they you know they don't know any better and they're just all going down to the the mall every every day and it's 
it's that's what I'm saying, and it's left to people like us to, to fly the flag that, that the momentum of history has led us to this point, and beyond the shopping malls, freedom's more important, and the, the privacy's oh, yeah. more important. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to go grab my charger. Just give me one minute, okay? I'm sorry. No, no, I do no. apologize. It'll take me one minute. No Thank worries, you. man. If we can have a moment of silence and zen. I do apologize for that. Like I say, my friend, silence is never a bad thing sometimes in this world. I am on Android. My lovely Android. Yep. And true. Okay. And we're back. I do apologize for that. No, no, no. Like, like I was just saying, I said uh, there's nothing wrong with silence in this world, my man. We're, we're bombarded with noise from everywhere, so to have 30 seconds of peace and quiet isn't, it's never a bad thing. Yeah. But to add to your, your last uh, statement about corporate spying and, and how we're not aware of, uh, you know, what's actually being, you know, spied upon when we, when we access the Internet or type search queries into certain search engines and uh, look for items. It's funny because you'll notice, you know, you go to your, fa your, your, your favorite uh, – social networking sites such as Facebook and you'll see certain ads being pushed at you, you know, because of what you've searched mm -hmm. on, you know, Google or whatever. It's like, you know, how do you know? <laughs> why, why would you, uh, to make my life easier for me? But, uh, but I don't want that, you know. I want to build a select, you know, and go to the sites I want to go instead of having you force this down my throat and not only that, but actually spying on me and see what I, what I eat, what I what I use to shower with, what I, you know, what I use to wash my dog with, you know, mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't want you, you know, get out of my life, you know, I don't need you and all that, so yeah. it really gets to that level. Exactly, man, and, and, and that, that's why I think I, I, I'm really inspired by it. I think it's, a, it's a, you know, like, like you said, I'm not, I'm not surprised. It's, it's never going to be, we're never going to sit down and see a, you know, divisive ad through in a Super Bowl, but that's not the world we want to live in. But the point is, what I'm really inspired me about your products and the app that you're doing, and I'm, I'm always thinking this way, you know, as you know, because I, I fly the flag for the safe network and, and, I, and, I, and I, I think it's just the epoch moment of, of, of where we are as as a species, and the mm -hmm. idea of decentralized network where everything is secure, so, and great, and 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 I, you know, and I spent a year and a bit of my life, you know, researching it, and and, and I, it's it's immense, you know, that it can't be hackable. But with everything, you've got to look at where's the weakest point, and it always breaks down to great. So I, there's, I can tap into a a completely strong network that's unhackable, and you know, it's spread into a million pieces, and all the rest of it, and. Brilliant, but the weak point has surely got to come when I'm actually using my device, my laptop, my 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 tablet, my uh, my phone, and there steps into the you know, That's where you step into the hole because you're you're shoring up that weak point, that weak point when we're just typing codes in, or like you said, they can even key, key recognize. You know, they can recognize what keys you press, uh, or just view you, and um, and I think that's where you step in, and I think it's a you shore up that really weak point. Of like I said, there's no point in having the world's most ever secure network if 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 anybody can just go on and jump on it and get into it and just dis disrupt it because they they's not saying who they are. So I think that's where I'm really inspired by you or what you're doing. Now my question to you would be, are you uh, obviously you know what you're trying to do? You're, you're obviously a future aware. I mean, are you constantly trying to sort of you know? Think ahead and think about well, okay, you know, what's what what's the next step that they could come in, you know, and 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 oh, try well, to. Exactly. That's the that's the biggest, that's the most fun thing about the whole thing aspect of it is, is they think that you know, they can. Uh, when I refer to they, the higher ups, you know, the the government, the big corporations that come out with this technology to make it easier for them to spy on us and invade our our rights and privacy. Whenever they come up with new technology, you can expect us to be there to come out with to something to uh, to definitely defeat it. 
And that's the fun thing about it is, you know, you'll never stop us. You'll never stop the patriots of, of uh, the cyber party, you know, because we're there to, uh, to fight back. And uh, we're tired of it. We're tired of what's going on. And it's time to do something about it. And it, even somebody as simple as myself who's self-taught, you know, um, never been to school for any type of development. It, anybody can, uh, you know, research through Google and find information to find out how to develop apps, how to develop software, how to get, you know, certain, you know, uh, library queries or kernel modes. I mean, whatever you want to get into, it's just whatever your passion takes you. That's what I, what I, uh, think that you should follow. And, um, definitely privacy and security within the cyber world is something we at the base of it are definitely uh, passionate about. Well, do you know, do you know, and uh, it's, it's, it never ever fails to excite me or amaze me. And I, I, I think it's absolutely, I think one of the most inspiring things about everyone I speak to from all around the world who are on the same mindset and this whole idea of like-minded people coming together, but everybody's self-taught. I haven't met anybody that's gone through a you know, university course or how to do this and stuff. It's, it's all same thing. All big people just come to the same conclusion. They've all learned it themselves. I'm, I mean, I'm a, I'm a perfect reflection like you. I don't know anything about code. And I've stepped into the world I don't know anything about. And I walk into rooms and I'm like, this is like watching, you know, to me, like sitting down and watching The Matrix. There's all these screens going on and numbers. And I'm like, whoa. You know, it's completely alien language to me. But the point I'm being is that, and I think you, 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 you're just alluding to it then, is that we now live in times where... If you have an idea, you, you, and, you, and, you're, and you're willing to stand up there and, like you said, and, and put your, p puff your chest out and go, no, no, no more am I going to take this anymore. But if you have that and, and you have an idea, these are the greatest days to live in because you'll find someone out there who go, okay, yeah, I'm, you're missing those skills. I can add to those skills. And before you know it, and it snowballs. And this is what I honestly see around us. I see a swarm intelligence day by day is just growing. And there's nothing anybody can do because it's not isolated to certain parts of America or certain parts of Europe. This is going on worldwide and there's yeah. nothing anybody can do about it. Well, I can't I can't take all the credit for the base. Like I said, Lou, he's uh he's the he's the master coder. I have not met anybody. Hello? Mm hmm Can you hear me, John?